I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. Leave me alone. Yes? He's up. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Your first priority, one of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. 
His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaeger Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Welcome to A Fighting Chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city, and I offer advanced training for armorers. Armor, weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? That seems a fair price.
Thank you. Be seen. Red Guard. The Emperor and his Greetings. three son. I'm Jer, a pickpocket. But relax, you're safe from me. You look like you might take offense. Too risky. You have to watch out for pickpockets in the city. You'd be surprised how many waterfronters earn a good income that way. You'll never leave the feedback. Bye. It's you. Hi. Hail. Razan is a talent. Hello. Have you ever had and his three sons dead out right under the nose of the people? What kind of deal can I make for you today? Calendeal runs a nice place at the Mystic Emporium. Blasted thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. He's a slippery one, though. The beggars are his eyes and ears. I have the best prices in town. Why? I'm smart, and you're smart. We know the right people, we get the best deals. Let's do business. drive a hard bargain. You got a great deal there. You've made a good bit of gold. You've made a good bit of gold. Thank you. Goodbye. How do you do? Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Everyone comes to the big city to buy and sell. Why not? More stores, better selection, better prices. <laughs> 